I'm Charlie. And I'm Stephanie. And we are Out of the Blue Travelers. Yay! Woohoo! We are full time <laughs> traveling. We are now in Bangor, Maine, is our first destination that we went to. It was 1,600 and some miles to get here. And we've been here now about four weeks. This is the first time we've ever camped uh, in, a, in an RV. So it's taken us a little bit of time to get settled in. It's been about four weeks now that we've been up here. So we thought it's about time to give you a tour of our rig. So I'm going to do the outside. That's the stuff that Stephanie, just when she watches these tours of the rigs, she, she always fast forwards. So, so if you want to fast forward through me, that's fine. But I'm going to do the outside with the storage and the brakes and all that kind of stuff out here. And then Steph's going to do the inside, the fun part. Okay, we'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you is my truck. I never did give you a review of the truck that I finally bought. I have a video that I'm going to be putting out more detail about this truck and about all the, the upgrades I've done to it. And you'll see a video coming out soon that'll be all about that. But I wanted to show you one thing here on this review of our, of our rig and all of our appliances that go with the rig. One thing that you have to get used to if y'all some of you know me and a lot of you don't know me but I'm one of these guys who has a rag in my hand all the time and I'm always polishing my truck I'm always keeping it nice and clean and beautiful clean when I go into a like a grocery store uh, people in the truck and the grocery store my truck might be five years old they might say to me wow your truck looks really pretty what year is it and I tell them it's five years old and they can't hardly believe it because I take such good care of my truck one of the things that I have to get used to and this is really hard look at this I don't know if you can really see this on on my window here but last night it rained and my window is full of junk from the from the rain it's like really I just washed the truck and look at this it's just filthy I cannot believe how dirty it is it's just all this this pollen dust stuff that came out from the rain but anyway it's it's so disheartening to me it's one of those things when you live full time you just have to kind of get used to your truck is not going to be spick and span all the time but this is my 2019 um one ton uh ram pickup dually and uh we can pull this trailer my trailer um it's got a rating of of like 16.8 and um we have it loaded up to the brim. I'm about 26,000 pounds total, but my uh, my fifth wheel, um, I can haul about 5,000 on my fifth wheel. And I think I only have about 3,200 on it right now, so we're good to go. Um, so anyway, I'll get back on the truck and review that later. We put a different kind of hitch on here. This is an Anderson hitch. It's not the regular type of hitch that you might see. Um, uh, that you typically see. Stephanie, so you can come in here and just kind of, we'll just kind of shoot that in there. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. That's that's the ball that this hitch sits on. So it's not one of those typical, I'm gonna close it, not one of those typical uh, fifth wheel hitches that you normally would see. So as you see here, we have our auto leveling system. It controls everything. It'll level the, the, the rig. We have six leveling posts um, that level. The unfortunate thing is when we first got here, we screwed it up and we couldn't get it to go down right. And we blew breakers and uh, it, was, it was a fiasco. We had to call the factory to figure out how to fix it. And this was our first time, first time <laughs> trying to level and, and, and put the, the rig down. I couldn't even get it off the truck because I couldn't get the legs to go down. But it was a simple thing. I flipped a breaker and I got it to work right and I did the right sequence with this. And I hope by the time we leave here, I remember the sequence on how to get it out. That'll be the fun thing. <laughs> Our front compartment. Now I know a lot of people have, you know, generators sitting up here in the front. Um, we've got an extra battery because our battery, uh, <laughs> We have a story about that on the way. We'll let you know about that. But this is where we put in all the stuff. Everything that's in the front here is stuff that we don't need. Stuff that we brought with us that we don't need. Unbelievable. So, and we got a lot of stuff we left at home that we would like to have had. But anyway, 
this is a big compartment. A lot of stuff can fit in there. And the slam lock. These, these doors are awesome. Now this is something else, a compartment that I've gotten very used to because I've been in and out of this compartment a lot. This is our, this is one of our, our two um, propane tanks and I've learned how to take them out and go fill them and bring them back because we've had to do it I think four times now. Um, we thought maybe that we were leaking you know gas or something but we weren't. We were using uh, the heater and we're using you know just the hot water for the you know we have an instant hot water uh, deal which is this right here this was an aqua go it's a truma aqua go and uh this little baby here i've gotten to know really well one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to pull this down when it's full because it'll give you a bath <laughs> guaranteed <laughs> uh, but like i said we had trouble with this too in the beginning and we finally have got it working perfectly. Um, we think that we think that we just with operator air, nothing else, nothing with the Van Lee people, nothing with Volano, nothing with the factory. It was me making a mess and not doing it correctly. Not but, reading the instructions, <laughs> as what, if there were any. What guy reads instructions? <laughs> Well, at least I've learned how to do the, the, the gas. Now, we haven't had to fill gas up since we stopped using the heater, the furnace. Um, we didn't expect to go someplace when it's, you know, 32 degrees out. The first two weeks we were here was freezing cold. We actually got a snowstorm of three inches. Can you believe that in May? But this is our next compartment. This goes all the way through to the other side. Now this side kind of looks full, but uh, we'll have a, a light that's supposed to be Plenty of room in there. But we got all kinds of room in there yet. Mm -hmm. And we have stuff on the other side, which I'll show you when we get over there that are not even unboxed yet. But this is our, 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 our This is our emergency leveler here in the side, um, but we we don't know how to use it, so we leave it alone. <laughs> we just leave it there. It does its own thing. It's fine. There's oh, a light. There's a light. Finally came on. There and oh, there they are. Good. We can put these in. What? This is what we got ordered. We ordered some of these. We're having a really black tank problem. Our black tank is like filling up every day. We're not sure. It's not full. We're not sure why it's doing it, but it's not because you're full of poop. No, could be. <laughs> that was the nice way of saying that. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Then the next compartment here. This is another compartment I've gotten really used to. I, I've learned everything about this compartment. I know all about it now. This down here, I, I've added these little uh, um, valves here that that are on an angle so that. It doesn't put stress on my hoses. Hmm. And uh, this is my black tank flush right here. My tank flush. This is black for black tank. This is white for the uh, city water that comes in. This is fresh water. But <laughs> I've gotten really used to. Um, you think that the black tank would have the black hose and the white tank would have the white hose, but I got them mixed up right now. So maybe when we're done, I'll, I'll sterilize these hoses and switch them the other way. But my wife just made a, <coughs> a grumbling look. No! A sweet that Jesus white look. hose is going to be for the poopy line forever. Oh! Take a picture of that there. I've added this on here. What these do here is these tell us how much water we're taking in. This is 29.5 gallons. I just put this on yesterday. That's how many gallons we've consumed. And then over here, this is for the flush. That's zero for right now because I haven't flushed it just recently. But we kind of like those those gauges there that, that definitely will help us um, tell us how much how much water we're using and how much water we're flushing or how much water we're filling that black tank with. We don't think the most I've ever gotten into that 45 gallon black tank is I put 30, 33 gallons in it. That's the most I could get in it. Then this here is our is our surge protector like you can see all that that soot or whatever 
is over everything. It's probably all over the rig pollen. too. It's pollen and dust. and dust. But anyway, this is our surge protector. Got to figure out somehow. This is for a lock, to lock it on. And I, I don't know for sure how to do it. What do I lock it to? I lock it to this? I'd have to have a chain or something. Mm. Um, I've seen other people with just padlocks. There's a hole right there. If I ran a padlock through that, then this wouldn't shut. But maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. I haven't got a padlock for it yet, but I'm. If you got any ideas on how I can do that, that'd be great. Messages. Messages. Put a message. Leave a comment down below. Down below. That's it. Okay. All right. This is our our uh, for the refrigerator behind the fridge. Very first day. What did we do? This key, as you can tell, was different than those other keys. I have a key here, and I have a key back here on our power cord. This is a, a power cord that is an electric reel. It reels it in electrically, and it's got a nice little lock on it, which is awesome if you have the key. I proceeded to lose the key the very first day. I lost my set of keys. They're probably in my truck someplace, buried in the truck, and, and maybe the next owner, or maybe when they destroy my truck after 30 years, maybe they'll find them. But I searched that truck through and through, could not find them, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so then we go around here to the back. Oh, there's, there's a, Mama's car, there's Peppy Le Blue. Peppy, Peppy's back here. This is where Peppy's going to be pulled from. <laughs> that we've been using for all of our outdoor electrical appliances. This is the other side. And as you can tell, there's a lot of boxes and things in here still. But this is the one thing that we haven't put together yet, and that's our dish. Oh. We have a, a tailgater dish. Um, we just haven't put it together. We haven't needed it yet. So, But we've got it. This is what we use for um, part of our pantry. Uh, pantry. The bottom drawer down here is for canned goods. It's a pretty good place to put them, as long as it doesn't get too hot in the summertime. We'll see. And then I have tools, sorted tools in there. And then the top one's electrical. Some, I got my cords out of it already. Mm. And, uh, but anyway, yeah. yes, we do need. This is the best our basement's ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's kind of it for the outside. Um, why don't you just man up and tell everyone that there will be more stuff because you buy stuff every day. <laughs> we, UPS is making deliveries to us daily. Daily. <laughs> Buying all kinds, like those little valves I showed you on the other side. I, I bought them since we've been here. I bought the new hose since we've been here. Lots of different things I'm couple buying. Couple bikes. We have a couple bikes coming. I can't wait till these bikes get here. They're called, they're e-bikes, they're electric bikes and and I can't wait to show you those bikes once we get them. We're just gonna have so much fun on those things. Um, but other than that, for the outside, going outside. So, we'll be back in a minute. 